Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Today we're talking about Toverland and this is about the brand new expedition uh, re-theme of the log flume coming very very soon now before we get started guys make sure you do like comment subscribe click that case bell so you never miss youtube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys since i haven't talked about this yet we're going to talk a little bit about the project and also what's been going on recently so let's get into this new project at toberland so over the winter season, Toverland has been rolling its sleeves. Whitewater Expedition Zork is in for a massive upgrade. Not only are the track and the environment extremely themed, but the storyline has also been enhanced. There is even a completely new outdoor experience, Maximus Wonderball. It's not for the first time in history that Toverland, the indoor themed world Wonderworld, is being overhauled. Seven years ago it was already a hit, because then we had to thoroughly tackle the Bobcart track Wood Racer, which reopen unrecognizable as Maximus Blitz Barn with a themed queue and covered outdoor track. Now we go through the standard and get to work in depth with Expedition Zork. The general manager of Toverland, Jean Jalisen Jr., says the quality of standard of Toverland is getting higher and higher, and we think it's very important that all the themed areas are also included in this. As a result, the Wonderwall connects even better with the recently opened areas of Port Laguna and Avalon. He says even in this special time, we want to continue to invest, and at the moment the renewal of Expedition Zork fits best with our strategy. A brand new story with familiar elements when you step into one of the tightest logs in the early years of the log flume. You did so under the name Backstroke. When the Magic Forest theme world was renamed to Wonderworld in 2018, this attraction was also given a new name, Expedition Zork. To further explore this theme, we will now continue working on an underlying storyline. As you sail, you will already come across an effigy in the rocks of the mysterious green swamp creature Zork. However, says Peter Van Holstein, the senior designer, this backstory has never been explored in depth. In the new story in our exhibition, Zor, we've connected all existing elements of the Wonderworld, a Tyrolean village, an eccentric inventor, a log flume, and an unknown mountain monster. Inventor Maximus Muller is not deterred at all by the rumours about an unknown and gigantic monster and puts on the daring mountain boots for a trip through the mountains of the Wonderworld. To thoroughly explore these mountains, he builds an ingenious transport system, the Tree Trunks. During this expedition, you'll find out as a visitor whether the dreaded creature from the Fault Tales really exists or whether it's just a fabrication as Maximus also thinks. It's a completely new experience and a lot is going to change in the outdoor area of Expedition Zork. For example, when all work has been completed, the central water feature around the white water course will become much more part of the area and will be in line with the attraction. The course inside and outside will remain the same, but the experience you will experience during the cruise through the rocks will be completely different. This way, surprises await you along the way. Now, construction recently has been really picking up the pace. Now, from the eyewitness sites, uh, from the eyewitness report, Maximus Muller was nowhere to be seen for a while, so the ideal moment was to inspect the construction site. The work really has now started. Inside, they roll up their sleeves and tackle the 125 metre long fairway. For example, the complete drop has been dis disassembled. And just like the other track sections, this will be thoroughly inspected and maintained where necessary. The entire pond is dry outside, so that the pond tank, track parts and supports can be checked. They're also busy clearing public gardens and removing pavements and other obstacles. Now, of course, this is a very interesting project, and now it's time to share my thoughts on Expedition Zork's re-theme and upgrade at Toverland. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is talking about the Expedition Zork Toverland. Ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. I cannot wait for this one. Now, obviously, the story and the whole revamp of the story, you know, trekking through the mountains of the Wonderwald and trying to experience the, the journey um, and trying to find out whether uh, the Zork creature really exists or whether it is just a fabricated... Uh, story as Maximus Muller thinks himself. Now of course along the way we'll see if Maximus has uh, been sold a lie, he's been sold down the river or whether he has really seen the Zork and we get taken down the river, down the drop 
and get absolutely soaked. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see. The construction really is picking up the pace from the construction site. By the way, sorry Maximus Muller about, you know, stepping into the construction site while he weren't you know, looking, um, but, um, you know, it was nice to see the construction images, you know, even if we get kicked out of the construction site by Maximus Muller, at least we got to saw the, pro pro saw the progress on um, the, the project, um, like I said, the whole drop section's been torn out for inspection and maintenance, um, other track sections are there as well, the pond's been dried out, they're going to look at the theming elements, see what they can do. So, um, I think the Toblands is doing a really cool job expanding on the uh, Expedition Zork, expanding on the Wonderworld theme, inviting both into the story together and collaging together rather than clashing them together. It just flows perfectly. The transition of the two um, just flows perfectly in the storyline. It combines the two, Expedition Zork and the Wonderworld area. Uh, you know, it's not like a clash of themes or anything like that. It collages, it transitions and flows beautifully together. And um, I feel like this is a really good project. So, big up to every single person at Toberland. And of course, again, Apologies, Maximus Muller. But there we are, guys. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chal. Keep on the coast life. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We've hit 2,700. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Maximus-tastic day. I hope that brightened your day, Maximus. Again, apologies. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape. Thank you.